Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to do this little bonnet for a baby from two to three months. It's very easy to do. The measurements are from here to here, it measures 5.5 inches or 14 centimeters. From here to here, it measures 6.5 inches or 16.5 centimeters. In another video, I will show you how to do this other one. This one here is for a newborn, but it's done in the same way. So let me show you how it's done. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do for this baby bonnet is the back, um, this part here, and to do this using a four millimeter crochet hook and baby yarn number three, I have four chains here. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make a circle. So I'm just going to join here to the first chain with a slip stitch, just like this. Now I'm going to chain three I'm going to go into the circle and I'm going to make one single crochet. Okay, chain two and back again into the circle and do two double crochets. One. Two. We're going to repeat this four more times. So two chains, double crochet into the same circle. One, two double crochets, two chains, one, two double crochets, two chains, Two double crochets, and we have one, two, three, four, five groups of two double crochets. So I need to do one more. So two chains, and then back again into the circle and make two double crochets. So now I have six groups of two double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And now I'm just going to chain two and join here to the beginning, not into the chain, but on the first, on top of the first double crochet, I'm going to work a slip stitch, just like this. This is um, how your first row or your first round should look like. Now for the second round, we're going to chain three and into the same space where I just did the slip stitch, I'm going to go in and make one double crochet. The three chains already count as one double crochet, so now I'm going to go into the chain two space and make one double crochet, two chains, one double crochet, and on top of these two double crochets, I'm going to make one double crochet, so one, and then two on top of the next one. And then again, I have a chain two space, so I'm going to do double crochet, chain two, double crochet. And now again, into this double crochet on top, I'm going to do one double crochet, one double crochet on top of the next one. And then again, I have a chain two space, so in there I'm going to do a double crochet, chain two, double crochet, okay, and then again, on top of these two double crochets, I'm going to make a double crochet here, a double crochet on the next, and now again, I have a chain two space, I'm going to make a double crochet into that chain two space, chain two, and then again, one more double crochet, and a double crochet on top of this double crochet, a double crochet on top of this one, two, and then again another chain two space, so double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Every time you have a chain two space, you're always going to do a double crochet, chain two, double crochet, and then again double crochet on top of this double crochet, a double crochet on top of this other double crochet. Okay, and now another chain two space. So double crochet, chain two, 
double crochet. Okay, and now I'm just going to join here to the first double crochet. You notice these are the three chains. I'm going to go on top of the double crochet and I'm going to work a slip stitch. And this is how your second round should look like. Okay, if you notice, we started with two double crochets here on the first row. Now on the second row, we have four. Now on the next one, we're going to have six. So in each row, we're increasing by two double crochets. So now here for the third row, we're going to chain three, and then again, a double crochet into that same space, a double crochet on top of the next double crochet, and now a double crochet into the chain two space, chain two, and double crochet. Okay, let me show you again. We have four double crochets. On each one of these, we're going to make a double crochet on top. So one, two, three, and four. Okay, and now again, another chain two space. We're going to make double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Okay, and then again, another four double crochets, double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, and double crochet into the chain two space, two chains, double crochet. Again, four double crochets. One, two, three, four, and then again, another chain two space. So double crochet, chain two, and then double crochet. Okay, and then again, one more double crochet double crochet on top of each one of these four double crochets. Okay, just like this. And then again, chain two space, double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Okay, and then again, another four. So double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, double crochet. Okay, and then again, chain two space, double crochet, chain two, double crochet. And then here, this one has two, four, five, I need to make one more, so six double crochets. Remember that I told you that we started with two, then we have four, and then six so this one here should have six. And again, I'm just going to join here and complete this third row with a slip stitch on top of the double crochet. Okay, and that's how you complete the third row. Okay, so now the fourth row is exactly the same way. So chain three, a double crochet into the same slip stitch space, and then a double crochet into these two here and we have a chain two space double crochet chain two and then double crochet okay and again we have six double crochets we're going to work one double crochet on each one of them one two three four, five, six, and then again, chain two space, double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Okay, so I'll meet you here at the end to show you how we're going to complete this round. Okay, I'm here at the end of the fourth round. So now to complete this round, I'm just going to make a slip stitch on top of the first double crochet. Not into the chain three space, just on top of the 
double crochet. Okay, so now for the fifth round, same thing, we're going to chain three and into the same space here that I just did the slip stitch in, I'm going to make a double crochet, a double crochet on these next three double crochets. just like this and then now we have a chain two space and in there I'm going to make a double crochet chain two and double crochet now I just need to work double crochets on each one of these eight double crochets so one two three four, five, six, seven, eight double crochets. And then again, another chain two space. So double crochet, chain two, double crochet. So continue like this, just working double crochets on each one of these double crochets and into the chain two spaces. Remember, it's a double crochet, chain two, a double crochet. I'll meet you here at the end to show you how we're going to finish this fifth row. Okay, I'm here at the end of the fifth row. You should have a total of 60 double crochets. Um, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 double crochets. And now I'm just going to join here to the beginning on top of the first double crochet with a slip stitch. And now on the, the next two rows, we're going to work single crochets all around. So starting here, we're going to do a chain one into the same space where it just did the slip stitch, one single crochet and a single crochet into each one of these double crochets of your previous round, just like this. When you come here to the chain two space, you just need to do two double crochets and continue all the way around doing single crochets into each one of these double crochets. Okay, so continue like this. I'll meet you here to show you how we're going to work the next row. Okay, I'm here at the end of this first row of single crochets. If you notice that it's starting to bend a little, just like this, it's normal, don't worry about it, that's what we want. Okay, so now for the second row of single crochets, this is what we're going to do. I'm just going to join here to the beginning and do a slip stitch to complete this row. Now for the next row, I'm going to chain one and into that same space, I'm going to make a single crochet a single crochet into each one of these single crochets just like this when you come to the chain two space which I will in a second there's our two uh, stitches right here or two single crochets you're going to skip one and right immediately into the next one make a single crochet okay just like this so you're going to skip one right there and continue all the way around making single crochets. Okay, when you do this, when you skip one right here, it, it's making it nice and round, which is what we want. So continue doing this. Um, remember, skip one when you come here to this chain two space and all the way around, continue in the same manner. So I'll meet you here to show you um, what we need to do for the next round. Okay, here's mine, it's complete. Now it measures um, from here to here, it measures five inches. So now I'm just going to complete this round with a slip stitch on top of the first single crochet. Okay, so now we're going to begin working our pattern stitch. And for this one, I decided to use the same that we did our baby cardigan and these little um, fan stitches. So to do that, what we need to do is we're going to chain three we're going to skip one, two, three, and on the fourth, I'm going to make double crochet, double crochet, chain one, double crochet into this one single crochet here. Okay, there's our first fan. Okay, and then again, I'm going to skip one, two, three, and on the fourth, 
Again, I'm going to make one more fan. So two double crochets, chain one, and two more double crochets into this same space. Okay, and then again, one, two, three, and on the fourth, double crochet, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, double crochet. So continue like this, work 13 little fans. You're going to probably come around here and I'll show you what we need to do here to complete this first row. Okay, I'm here. I did a total of 13 little fans. So now I'm just going to finish this row with making a double crochet on the fourth single crochet. So one, two, three, four. So I'm going to make a double crochet right there. And now for the second um, row of these little fans, I'm going to chain three, turn, and now I'm just going to work fans on top of each one of these little fans. So double crochet, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. Okay, so now I'm just going to continue making fans on top of each one of these fans. So two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. Continue like this all the way to the end or all the way here to the other side. I'll meet you here to show you how we're going to complete this row and show you the next one. Okay, I'm here at the end and now to complete the second row, I'm just going to make a double crochet here on the last chain of this chain right there, okay? Just like this. Okay, so now it's rows three through six. You're going to do the exact same thing. Chain three, turn, and just work fans on top of each one of these fans. So two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. So continue like this. I'll meet you at the end of the sixth row to show you the next um, row where we're going to work this row that looks like this. Okay, I'm here at the end of the sixth row. I did a total of six rows. So now for the seventh row, this is what we're going to do. Chain three, turn, and then now we're going to work a front post double crochet on the first double crochet of this fan. So on this one here, we're going to do a front post double crochet, just like this. Okay, and inside the chain one space, we're going to do two double crochets. Okay, and on the last double crochet of the fan, we're going to work a front post double crochet, just like this. Okay, and then again, on the next fan, a front post double crochet on this first double crochet, two double crochets, inside the chain one space and a front post double crochet on the last double crochet of the fan just like this so continue working the seventh row just like this and i'll meet you at the end to show you uh, what we're going to do next okay i'm here at the end i've completed this row now uh, to finish it i'm just going to make a double crochet on top of the chain threes that we have here and that's how you complete this row. Now, for the part where we're going to do the little peacock looking um, trim here, how I did this is I did chain one, turn, and on this same double crochet here, or on the first double crochet, I made a, a single crochet, a single crochet on the next, and into the two double crochets that we have inside the chain one, this one here, I'm going to insert my hook and I'm going to make a single crochet. I'm going to chain three and back into that space here, I'm going to make a single crochet, just like that. Okay, and then again, I'm going to make a single crochet on top of this double crochet of the previous rows. So, and then on the next, and then again inside here where we have these two double crochets together, I'm going to insert my hook and I'm going to make a single crochet, chain three, 
and then again back into that same space and make another single crochet. Okay, so we're going to continue working the stitch just like this. Remember into the two double crochet space here, I'm going to insert my hook, make a single crochet, chain three, and back again into that space and make a single crochet. So you're going to continue like this. This is what it looks like. Okay. So I'll meet you at the end to show you how we're going to finish this next part. We're just going to make single crochets all around. So I'll show you that part next. Okay, I'm here at the end. What I'm going to do is um, I finished with a single crochet in the very corner. So now I'm going to make another one into that same space and I'm going to work my way down making single crochets in each one of these stitches. Like if I have a double crochet, I'll do two single crochets. If I have a chain three space, I also do two single crochets. And then here in this space here, I'm going to make one single crochet. So I'm gonna work myself down, just working single crochets in each one of these stitches on the side. Okay, so just like this single crochets okay Okay, so here I'm not going to do anything here on this last chain three that we have. I'm just going to immediately start working double crochets beginning here on this single crochet that we have here, just like this. So double crochets on this part of the back of the little hat, okay? So a double crochet in each one of these single crochets. Okay, and then here, I'm just going to go back up here into the space that you see here, and I'm going to work a single crochet. And then back again up, working single crochets into each one of these stitches. Okay, remember, if there's a double crochet, we're gonna do two single crochets between the spaces here, there's one. There's a space, we're only going to do one single crochet, and then we have chain threes, so two single crochets into those. Okay, just like this, and then, oops. And here, I just need to do three, two single crochets, and then one here, and one at the end, just like this. Okay? Okay, so now what we're going to do is, we're going to chain three, I'm going to turn, and immediately into the next single crochet, I'm going to make a double crochet and then now I'm going to chain one and then down here I'm going to skip one single crochet and into the next I'm going to make a double crochet just like this so chain one skip one down here and on the next double crochet okay so chain one skip one down here and on the next double crochet continue like this and I'll show you what we need to do where we did the double crochets on the back of the little hat. Chain one, skip one down here. Chain one, and then one more here in this corner. Chain one, and then here these are the double crochets that we just did on top of the first one. This one I'm going to make 
a double crochet and a double crochet into each one of these double crochets just like this okay so continue like this all the way around I'm just going to show you here how you're going to complete this part here so a double crochet on the last double crochet that we have here and then skip one and then the next a double crochet chain one and a double crochet Okay, so continue like this all the way to the end and I'll show you what we need to do on the next step. I'm here at the end, I'm just going to finish my last double crochet. So two double crochets together, just like that. Okay, now for the next row, chain one, turn. We're going to work single crochets into each one of these double crochets and chain one spaces. This part here is easy. You just do single crochets on each one of these stitches. So continue like this all the way around to the other end. I'll meet you there to show you our last um, row. Okay, I made it here to the end. I just finished with a single crochet. And now for the last row, we're going to chain three, turn. I'm going to skip one single crochet. And on the next, I'm going to make a single crochet. I'm going to chain three skip one single crochet and on the next one single crochet chain three skip one single crochet and on the next single crochet so you're going to continue this last row just like this and this is um, how it should look okay so continue like this all the way to the end and I'll meet you there to show you uh, our completed baby hat with a ribbon on okay so here's my complete bonnet this is what it looks like after I added a little ribbon here on the last row where we did the three chains. I just joined here to the end with a slip stitch and then just cut my yarn and weaved it through the back here. And this is what it looks like now all complete. So this has been today's tutorial. I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.